right. Hello, everyone. My name is Caitlin Shalou. I'm a senior at Iowa State University's College of Design, and I'm majoring in Integrated Study Arts and minoring in Illustration. My main focus is with my minor. My goal in life is to create stories. But where did this love come from? Well, let's just say I lived at my local public library. My mom worked there, and growing up, I volunteered constantly. And right now, I'm working there part-time. So, I think you can understand that I love libraries, right? What fascinated me the most about libraries are the number of books there are. Each book had a different story, different worlds, different characters. It was endless. But I loved the most was the characters. I loved learning about them, their background, their likes and dislikes, the core of them, their identity. I think identity-based stories really struck a chord with me growing up because I really didn't know who I was back then. All my anxieties and depression kept me away from enjoying that discovery of self. I never was really consciously aware of this, but writing and drawing characters who went through dramatic stories, or ones a lot closer to home, helped me understand my emotions and my identity. And that's why I'm here. I want to create stories that talk about identity and create a space of dialogue for social and identity-based issues. In Scott McCloud's book, Understanding Comics, he says that comics that are one of the few mediums that readers literally become the main character of the story. I feel like comics are great tools in creating empathy in people just for that very reason. In this presentation, I'm going to talk about my journey as an artist, from schoolwork to more personal work, and from fine arts pieces to comics. So, in order to be a great comic artist one day, I first needed to build my art skills, which means making fine arts pieces. This is an early self-portrait painting based on a Ewan Ugla's Sally. The goal of this piece was to describe my relationship with Christianity and the LGBTQ plus community. This painting was made quite recently. It started out as a master study self-portrait based off of Vincent van Gogh, but then I took my own spin on it. The goal of this feminist piece was to explore the relationship women have with themselves and with others by how they choose to present themselves. Now, moving on to the nuts and bolts of comic making, which includes character design and scene design. Character design is my favorite thing to do. This is my second attempt at character design. I was just beginning to apply shape theory to my work, which basically means using design elements to help describe the personality of a character. Another aspect of creating comics is scene design. The goal of this series was to create the same setting in three different perspectives. I really wanted to highlight class struggles seen on this planet, so the main character leaves his trailer spaceship and walks over to the edge to see the vast and glowing city below. And now, actual comics! Hooray! <laughs> What's interesting about the first comics I made at ISU is that I made them before taking the official sequential narrative class. So a lot of the stuff I made during this time was gut instinct. This comic series is quite special to me. It's an unfinished attempt at a mixed-media comic memoir. In the future, I definitely want to take another look at it and completely rewrite it, because I really like the concept behind it. I made this comic the first time I took the sequential narrative class. We had to pick a masterwork and base our comic on it. Mine is Francisco Goya, Saturn Devouring His Son, and I chose to tell the story of the making of this painting. If you look at Goya's earlier paintings, and then this one, it seems like they are made by completely different people. In this comic, I wanted to show a progression of mood and ideology changes one person can experience in their lifetime. This is more of a recent project. I used to be so scared of color, but now it's one of my favorite parts of the process. This story is loosely based on one of my own Thanksgivings. I love to share personal stories, and I hope to continue doing that in the future. So, now onto some more personal work. This is a bunch of development work I made for a webcomic of mine that is currently being uploaded online. It is called Dear Samar. I first wrote this story in high school, maybe around my junior year, and it wasn't until my sophomore junior year of college that I began to truly develop it. These are a bunch of early pages of the comic, which, again, are currently being uploaded online. The goal of this passion project is a learning one. I know there are a lot of changes I can make in these early pages, 
since some of them were made before I took the sequential narrative class, but I think it's important to keep them around as some sort of record of my personal progress as an artist. And here's a current page I'm working on. Circling back to the goals of this comic, another goal is to build stamina in comic making since it's notoriously a pretty grueling process. My main artistic goal is to be published. I want to hold my work in my hands, see it on bookshelves, see it being read, but for now, I'm enjoying uploading the comic online. This is the cover page of the comic, which again was made recently. It is a romance drama comic that stars a young single mother named Melody and artist Griffin. The story talks about grief and moving on from the deaths of loved ones, as well as boundaries in relationships, and how the time and attention needed in a relationship can vary from couple to couple. Now, let's talk about the future. Like I just said, my goal is to be published one day, and maybe I'll be able to do that with Dear Samar. But I have other goals, too. I want to be my own boss. I want to do commissions, I want to set up a Patreon, and I want to run an online store. Maybe down the road, I'll think about going to grad school so I can be a professor one day. But for now, I just want to see where life takes me. I also want to continue writing novels and poetry. I made a short story for a writing class called The Girls of the Gia Forest. I had so much fun writing that story, and it seemed like a lot of my classmates enjoyed reading it too. I also want to write poetry and have that combined with the mixed media element, since most of my work now is digital. Stories are the lifeblood of humanity, from its origins of oral storytelling to the booming graphic novel market. In stories, and especially comics, they teach people empathy by having the reader experience a character's beliefs and ideas. Stories are so important to the world, and, well, they're important to me too. They help me discover who I am, so I'm internally thankful for them. Thank you so much for listening to this presentation. Here's my contact information, please follow me on Instagram, and hey, check out my comic Dear Samar. I think it's pretty cool. Thanks, and have a great day.